It's all bullshit, people. It's all bullshit, man. It's funny. We are really beginning to... Re- a lot of people wake up and like, damn, I was in the Matrix the whole time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's no bullshit. You got any one of those red pills? Yeah, yeah. we got a bunch of them over here. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody using them, though. <laughs> So, you know, riots are happening right now and more people out there, people that a year ago, shit, people two weeks ago, you wouldn't think would actually be on the side and being very vocal about how they support the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, uh, a lot of people, a lot of big, not just people, but huge companies Oh, Disney and Apple are throwing millions of dollars at Black Lives Matter, where, you know, a, a, a year ago they were like, "Black who?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, I can guarantee you they're like, "Well, I mean, I like what they do, but really, all, all lives do matter." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you telling me I don't matter? <laughs> yeah, I matter too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Matter. I'm well, black. <laughs> well, well, Mickey's one of those black lives. Yeah, don't tell him that. <laughs> Mickey, have you noticed that Mickey's gone white face for the most? Part? <laughs> Mickey been trying. Mickey is black as. <laughs> <Mickey>. <laughs> Let's, let's be honest. Mickey Mickey Mouse is one of the biggest goddamn sellouts out there. Mickey Mouse is black as. F- and he's been he's been passing for white face for all these years, man. Look at this. Oh boy! <laughs> I I bet if you just went, just rubbed his face, all that shit would come off. Yeah, Mickey Mouse been passing for years, man. man. And doing it lazy, they've been trying to cover up the rest of that black skin. <laughs> I've got that Michael Jackson disease. <laughs> but uh, you know, with a lot of people coming out to support, hey, look, that's a whole different discussion and talk about you know how sincere these people are are right. not. I mean, like I said, I guess it's better to have it than not have it. Better late than never, <laughs> I think the saying goes. But the sad thing is, is that with more people starting to support on big levels, large levels, the Black Lives Matter movement, you're also starting to get more of those people talking about, well, obviously, you're the racist because mm. all lives should matter. Oh, no. I mean, you're hearing more of that. Yeah. It goes in a cycle. We, yeah. That yeah. pops up all the time during these kind of things. I almost can't be mad at your dumb ass. No, I'm mad. You're still <laughs> stupid as shit. But I almost can't be mad at you because that is a beautiful notion. All lives matter. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Unicorns are cool too, you know? <laughs> Man, I, I would love it if all lives matter, but they don't, obviously. That's bullshit, and so are you if you're going around saying that. Of course, if you're normal and you're open-minded, you got a good heart, of course all lives matter to you. <laughs> That's you know that should be that should be the way, you know. And I wish murder didn't happen anymore either. I wish all of us could sprout fairy wings and fart glitter too, and just be happy for the rest of our lives. Oh, but that'd you be know, awesome. yeah, wouldn't mm. that be awesome? But we can't. <laughs> Why? Because it's bullshit. And so are people going around talking about all lives matter because all lives don't matter. And the funny thing is, is that you say all lives matter, but you know it's not just with black lives that we can talk about this. I mean, poor lives don't even matter to some mm-hmm. people. We see that all the time. Yep. I mean, you pass people on the street all the time and walk right over a, a, a bum without giving them a second notice. So obviously, all lives do not matter because if they did, you would stop and say, "Sir, you know what? Come live with me." <laughs> you know? Yeah, ain't nobody doing that. Yeah, ain't nobody <laughs> doing that shit. So guess what? All lives do not matter. So let's just stop fooling ourselves and look at it for what it is. Socially, we're on different scales, man. And one of them is right now, the justice system and the police department, they do not serve all people. Mm-hmm. And the worst people out there to get it are, uh, uh, are black people right now, as far as here in America, as far as the justice system goes. You know, it is such bullshit that some people out there, people who even consider themselves possibly more open minded than the other person, they out there saying some of the dumbest shit, man. There was, a, there was an article where somebody tried to compare buildings to the lives of black people out there. Uh, so the the uh, executive editor, I'm looking at this on CNN. I know CNN, I'm not crazy about him either, but there's stories everywhere out there. Uh, the executive editor of the Philadelphia Inquirer has stepped down after publishing Buildings Matter Too oh, yeah. as a headline. So, so that's, the, that's the new BLM. Buildings <laughs> Lives Matter. Things that ain't even got no life. Mm-hmm. 
matter more than an actual man who has a life. That is the dumbest shit. In case you want these uh, all lives matter people out there, that, this dumbass headline right here, I mean, how, how goddamn tone deaf are you? <laughs> Either you are ignorant or you just don't give a shit. Or you're, again, one of those all lives matter. See, you even beyond that. All, you know, things with no life matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this rock. Does this not matter? <laughs> what the hell? For some people, yeah, black lives didn't matter to them until they get into a situation where it's, where it's not as much. <laughs> you know, mm, yeah. I, man, this is, this is ruining my traffic for the day. This is making me feel uncomfortable. My kids have to watch this. Uh, why are they? Why you know? Why are they? Get, why are they so violent? Why can't they just sit down and talk peacefully? Well, if you you haven't been paying attention, yeah. because uh, obviously black lives maybe they did matter to you one time, but not as much. And really, when you pull, when you start getting to the point of as much, it's not at all. Very close <laughs> to behind. Right. Very close to behind is not at all. Yeah. And that's where you get into the, the some of the people who are the real phonies that you got to look out for, because now they're trying to pull some shit with apologies. People trying to act like they represent. People are using other people to feel like they're representing. And you got to look for all these things, man, because all, you know they're still trying to sit out there and play with people's minds on this. And they re- they re- they really still are trying to appeal to the base of people that don't want any of this to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's to protect their brands. Yeah, and it's and it's bullshit. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna call bullshit on all these things, man. Uh. First of all, bullshit on the government and in the country, man, <laughs> in general. Uh, and bullshit on the people who call themselves patriots. Because if now we're beginning to see that you really did not give a fuck about America. You gave a fuck either about white America or, let's narrow it down, you gave a fuck about you. You didn't care about anything else. Where are all these people, man? And here's and this is this is going to prove to you all these freedom fighters. Yeah. This is going to prove to you how much why Black Lives Matter is the thing because they don't matter to a lot of people out there, and that's why you have to put it out there. Just two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, a few weeks ago, anyway, it was close. Um, Michigan, you know, this is a this is a big this you know I use this and we talk about it over and over again, but it's when they stormed the. Uh, uh, the, Capitol. the Capitol trying to like go in there and threaten the governor. Uh, you know, all these people with all these assault rifles trying to like intimidate with all their posing. You know, uh, all these people are out there talking about America and my rights as an American. And this is un American what you're doing. All over a goddamn mask. Mm-hmm. A mask. Which some of them are wearing. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, what the fuck? You know, and you know why they did that's the so, stupid thing about it, because a lot of these people just want they just want any reason to go out there and pose with that sure. gun. They, they want to show up. Say, I they, hate the federal federal government and we can do something about it if we want to. Oh even that. It's like I got this gun, I haven't shot anything yet. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to make up so for something I'm, I don't know. Yeah, have. I'm just trying to I'm just I'm just I'm a poser. I got this gun, I want like a badass. Mm-hmm. Do any of these people look like Badasses to They're you. Goddamn bubble. Are there guts. any Rambo's here? <laughs> Are there any GI G. Joe looks more <laughs> manly than these people? They're the here? guys that went after Rambo in that movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Got their yeah. Hands yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. No, these people. A lot of these people just want to come out and they just want to impose. Yeah, but you know where are they now? They were out there doing. They were protesting over wearing a mask, which is Martin. And some of them are wearing that. You know what that's telling me? That's telling me that. Just another piece of cloth. A mask means more than a human life, a black human life mm-hmm. to you. That's why Black Lives Matter is there, because for these people, their inconvenience in a, in a piece of cloth means more than watching somebody die. That is why all lives matter is bullshit. In theory, it's a wonderful thing. Mm-hmm. But as in reality, it's bullshit, because apparently these guys are nowhere near. Maybe some of them are, and I could be wrong, because I don't know. Maybe some of these guys are out there. If they are, then fine. Go down the list here. Another one, another one you have to look out for, and this one is really, man, this is... This one, they're trying to be sneaky with it, but if you're smart, it's very obvious. Uh, you really have to look out for these snakes, man, that are being used by these politicians mm-hmm. to make you think that, oh, well, they're listening to black people because they're not. Just because Candace Owens mm-hmm. is talking to the president. <laughs> Candace Owens, man, she's a, she's a goddamn disgrace. She's a grifter, too. 
So you were saying she was a liberal at one time. She was. Four years ago, she mm-hmm. was a liberal, uh, writing multiple publications mm-hmm. about how terrible Trump is. And then all of a sudden, 2016, she changes her entire positions. Yeah, oh, and so, but maybe there was like a little bit of a vacuum of uh, black conservatives. Since, it, since my stuff's not taken off, all of her positions changed. Interesting. Yeah, uh, my, my wife's one of her uh, old mentors uh, sent her that, that video of hers, and she just ripped him oh, a new one. Oh, yeah. No, you know, this people, be careful. Be careful of the people that are trying to use black faces to actually use uh, uh, them against the victims yeah. yep. of, 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 of what's happening right now. They're yeah. trying to use black faces to use them so that we can they, they can turn, if you're smart, not us, but they can turn certain people who already don't want to don't want to deal with this shit who want to stick who want to somehow even though they don't think they're racist they want to stay, they want to be validated for their racist feelings mm-hmm. they using black faces to do that with yeah she's there to go Placate like them. listen I'm being a rational human being and think about this and it's like yeah you think about it what about that this you play right into that that cycle when the police kill or abuse somebody and the next step is to do a character assassination of the victim yep. yeah That's yeah what, it's always in a cycle too you're yeah. absolutely right you're absolutely and I'm right. A, and I'm going to sit up here and I'm I'm gonna shoot that shit out the sky, man. I'm gonna shoot that rocket right down, fiery flames, because it's all bullshit. It's bad enough when they come out there and they try to pull criminal records and use those against mm-hmm. victims, but it's really despicable when they try to use when they try to use black faces for it. You know, a black person could point out how bad that this other black person is, then it must be true. Yeah. Because uh, all oh, you stick together, right? Nah, man. She sat up here and says, I I am not with uh I do not Stand by George Floyd. I do not support George Floyd. Yeah, he's not a martyr. He's not a hero. I do not support him. Yeah, let me see if I can actually get to some parts mm-hmm. right here. And what she's describing sounds terrible. But and you're going to think, well, shit. You know, if that's true. Then, yeah. Why? Why aren't you guys saying that guy? A woman who was pregnant uh, received a knock at the door. Another five men jumped out of the car. One of which was George Floyd. Floyd took out a gun and pressed it to her stomach. I'm playing that because I don't want you to think that anybody sitting up here. <clears throat> trying to omit details about George Floyd and trying to get this man a pass, you might sit up here and think like, okay, well, she's missing the point. Because we're going to point out why she's full of shit. Uh, first of all, no, she knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's, she knows, the sad thing is, she's know, she knows she's being used as a pawn, but there's, some, th- but there's, money, there's something money. self-serving there for her too, mm-hmm. so she yeah. doesn't mind. It's a really bitchy thing that she's doing, man. Uh, yeah, she's as fake as Alex Jones is. But just in case you are missing the, the point, you know, because what she's doing is she's speaking the narrative that some conservatives want to hear mm-hmm. yeah, uh, to justify their racism. You know, a lot of them seeing this, and a lot of them want, they, like you said, they don't want this to go away. They don't want oh, to yeah. bother with it. The easy, and the easy way for this to go away and, and keep the status quo where it is, which means they get to stay in charge and they don't have to deal with this shit, uh, is to criminalize the victim and hopefully make it go away quickly. That's the whole point. And then they can keep on with their... Uh, they're racist ways. Same shit. The same shit. Same shit. Until it repeats again. But for those who are missing the point with this, uh, it's not just about George Floyd. George Floyd was just the gasoline on the fire that was uh, starting to spread anyway. You know, this was something that was about to blow up anyway, Mm -hmm. man. Not to defend him. Thing with George Floyd, that George Floyd does have a criminal record. George Floyd served his time, and I'm not even again not trying to stick stick with you know black on black and defend this guy. You know, he was it was some terrible shit that he's done, but he served his time, and from what I understand, he moved to Minneapolis to start a new life. Yeah. At this point, he was like, "Yeah, fucked up. I'm going to start a new life." Uh, but even with all that pushed aside, at the time when they when when George Floyd had his uh, was put on the ground and had that that knee put on his neck and was killed, he was not a criminal at that time, and he damn sure wasn't a murderer. Mm-hmm. So you know uh, all this, but uh, and he did not deserve to be killed that way. And they use his past actions to justify. Sure, yeah, that, yeah that's sure. What and, and what is. she goes that's on to say trick. after this, she's like, "So I'm sure that what he did at this point, he was going to blah 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 blah." I'm just like, "Well, uh, yeah, but you're sure is not a justification. Yeah, y- you being sure that means nothing. Mm-hmm. No, that that that's not evidence that can be used in court. That's just speculation in your own head. You don't you don't get to decide what somebody was going to be." We all saw what we, we, we actually, the reason this is all centered around George Floyd is because it is out of these 
all of these atrocities, it is the one that's captured clearly on video that everyone saw. We saw a man walk out with his hands in his pocket and not resist arrest and be murdered, casually murdered. Like his, his, his neck stepped on for nine minutes. And everybody got to see that and see how excruciating that was. And through seeing it, got to live it and imagine what it was like. Yeah, and he was not, at that time, he was a man who was, go, who was, who was going by the law. He was not a criminal. He was not a murderer. He was doing nothing. Uh, and they put, his, they put a knee on his neck and uh, they killed him. You know, at, at that time, uh, that, that, was, uh, that was something that was clear and cut murder. But nobody wants to, wants to you know, a lot of people don't want to acknowledge that because, one, it's hard to, like, go against the police. It's really hard to, uh, and, and as I said, a lot of people don't see black lives as, uh, as important. They definitely don't see black lives as important as a cop's life. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why cops keep getting away with it. Mm -hmm. Cops keep getting away with this shit because, as I said, it's going back to like all this all lives matter shit. Blue lives of all all that blue lives matter is straight bullshit because blue lives matter. Blue lives have always mattered. Always matter more they, than they, black they, lives. They, they matter than all lives. Yeah, blue lives have mattered more than black lives uh, for centuries, man. Uh, but here's here's the here's the biggest thing. Even if you do want to hold that on, this is bigger than George Floyd. If you, you want to sit up here and hold this on George Floyd, well, let's, let's, let's go down the line here. Uh, Breonna Taylor had no criminal record at all. She was shot by the police in her own home. And why the police get away with it? Because they're police. Their job is hard. Uh, you, uh, uh, it was a mistake. If there, let me ask you something. If you or I, anybody in this room, if we, go in, if we bust down a door looking for somebody and we shoot them in their own home, that's manslaughter. A uniform should not, that should not make any difference at all. What they did to this woman was, was manslaughter. And, no, and they don't want people, you know, and no one wants to pay for it because for some reason, cops are doing a dangerous job and sometimes they make mistakes. Well, yeah, this, that's not a mistake when you take a human life. No. That's, <laughs> that's far beyond a mistake. That's not a mistake is when you forget to carry the two. That's not a mistake when you kill somebody who's minding their own business in their own home who by the way had no criminal record at all uh but they get away with it because you know and by the way like i said cops volunteered to like this was their choice in life to, to, to go and take jobs like this so they need to be more careful in what they do you know it's all so dangerous there's so much they have to deal with they chose to do that shit she didn't choose for y'all to break into our house though and shoot her she did not put herself at a job that's in the line of fire like that. Mm. Uh, Philando Castile completely I was, I was, complied. Well, I was going to put up here Philando Castile. Philando Castile had no, had no criminal record at all. Philando Castile, all, and by the way, Philando Castile did nothing. And they tried to say that the cop was, 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 uh, uh, was, was uh, 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 caught by surprise with the gun. Philando Castile mentioned that he had a gun. He told me he had a gun. What happened was, and I'll tell you what it is, a cop saw a black man with a gun mm -hmm. and reacted. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. He has no criminal record. So all this criminal record shit doesn't work. Uh, Ahmaud, what's his name? Ari? He had no yeah, criminal Ahmaud record. Aubrey. Yeah. Aubrey, he had no criminal record. He, I, I looked it up just to make sure. Philando Castile had traffic violations. He had like 70-something traffic violations. I got a shitload of tra traffic violations. I'm probably more of a criminal than this man is. Mm. Uh, Tamir Rice did not have a criminal record, but he was shot for having a toy gun. Meanwhile, I've seen people brandish real guns in front of the cops yep. and not be taken down. Uh, Tamir Rice, they saw what they, you know, you, you talk about the how young black kids are looked at as older than what they are and therefore more of a threat. Hmm. Tamir Rice was 12 years old when he got shot. He didn't have a criminal record. So all this bullshit about criminalizing these people, you, you know, I notice you're not, you're not going in and defending all these other people. Where was Candace Owen talking about these people, man? Candace Owen didn't mention shit about these people. Yeah, she's very selective. Mm -hmm. she, she, Candace Owen never came in and talked about how an innocent kid was killed, how Philando Castile was killed. By the way, practicing his American rights to carry a gun. Yeah, and a right to carry state. She never said shit about it. She never said anything about that at all. And by the way, uh, who did she choose to actually go and help? Because right now, what happened with her, her, uh, her uh, GoFundMe got pulled. Because she was supporting a guy to help get his shop rebuilt who called uh, George Floyd a thug. Mm. You know, what, so you want to raise money for this guy who's going against George Floyd. What about the families of Philando Castile? 
What about Tamir Rice? What about Brianna Taylor? What about helping her family out? You know, where were you to go do a GoFundMe for that? You weren't there. F you, bitch. Yeah. You weren't there at all for that. It's, 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 at the end of the day, it's honestly, she doesn't really care either way. It's about her platform and her appeal to a specific amount of people and making the money. You know, uh, you, don't, you don't go from being a liberal one day and then it's like, I'm going to change all my positions the next day. Like, that's a sign that you are a grifter and you are a fake. That's exactly what it is, yeah. which is even worse almost. Like, I, sure. I, I would almost like, hey, well, that, I, mean, I don't agree with you at all. I find kind of your, your position is kind of disgusting, honestly, but that's what you believe. Like, she doesn't believe anything, and that makes it even worse. That's like she's someone like Alex Jones. Sure. I'm such a disgusting person. Or Dennis Miller. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, uh, no, she's, she, no, she's a totally disgusting person, man. And, you know, I can only think that the, the path that she's going down right now, history will not be kind to no, her. No. And it makes me look down on the people who forward her video to me. Yeah, some, what, mm. did somebody forward it to you to, to like prove her point? Yeah. I've been uh, getting uh, some other uh, posts, like because people love to do this. They like You, you post something, like, I posted something in regards to like, Trump, mm -hmm. where you say, you know, George Floyd, we look down, this is a great day right now. Oh, He's yeah. so impressed by these job yeah, numbers. Yeah. And I had someone who posted something on my, uh, my post because uh, I was like, look at this, uh, just uh, abject narcissism. Mm -hmm. And then he posted something else that's like, but what about this? And it's like, that's a f***ing what about -ism. You're trying to change <laughs> the goddamn <laughs> argument uh -huh. and just be, just, and try to nullify what I was talking about. I hate that shit. I hate what about -ism. Stop it. This skank never mentioned any of these people at all. None of them. And then she comes out being very vocal about this. You know, the one thing that you, where you never came out to help these people who were true victims, who were not criminals at all. When did you come out? The one time you had an opportunity to, to, to go in and totally try to assassinate somebody's character who can't even defend themselves right now. What's even worse is the second part of her argument in that video is to point out how, see, you look at these statistics and you see that black Americans are the most violent people in this country. Well, she... Like, wow. E either she, you know, I <laughs> you believe really it, went for it, didn't it's you? a little bit of both. I can tell you, she hates herself. She hates being in that dark skin. She she hates being, you know, she 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 is embarrassed. She's probably gone through a whole life looking at other black people and thinking like, oh, we bring this on ourselves. Why can't we just act right? And she's embarrassed by her black skin and she is embarrassed by the rest of us. And now she's just cashing in on that embarrassment. Yeah. If we could just behave ourselves, the white man wouldn't hate us so much. Yeah, she's, you know, the mo I can understand if you want to come out and say, hey, look, I'm talking about this for the betterment of black people. But when she started, all you do is point out our flaws and you do nothing to try to point out any kind of positivity. You know, if you or, feel, or keep it balanced. Or let me pull another challenge to you. Quick kissing all these other people's asses and kissing these white politicians' asses. And if you think black people are in that much of a bad state, go out there and do something. There's a lot of shit you can do to go try to help these communities. You can go out there and educate. You can go out there and, and mentor. But no, you don't want to do that shit. No, what you want to do is to take an opportunity to go to the White House, make your money yeah. by being a sellout coon. And I'm sorry, I know y'all don't like to, that word to be used, but I'm going to use it when it's there. She's straight cooning, man. You know, I, I'm, you, don't have to, you don't have to sit up here. She want to speculate about George uh, Floyd and talk about, well, he could have been doing some shit and doing it. I'm going to speculate about her. She hates living in that black skin, man. She hates it. So she's like, if I can't jump out of it, I might as well make some money with it. <laughs> she's a, she's, she's, a, she's a, she, she is a, she is a political whore. She's whoring herself out to all these politicians to get money by selling the rest of us out. Mm -hmm. And it's a goddamn shame that she's doing that, man. If I was a religious person, I would say, I, I almost feel bad for her. I would almost say, I, I'll pray for her. <laughs> Bless her heart. Nah, she, knows what, she knows what she's doing. No, nah, I'd almost say I pray for her, but right now she can go to hell. It's, a, it's, it's really a damn shame what she's doing, man. There's so much. If you really do feel that way, let's just, and I'll, I'll end it with her and move on to the next thing. If you really do feel that way about your black community and you think that we are all that bad, then go out there and do something to help instead of always pointing out to the white politicians how bad we are. Fuck off. Same thing can go for the goddamn NFL, too. <laughs> and I've been saying this for years. <laughs> no, we all have. We're sorry. You know, I don't give a about football, so I never. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. did did we do that? Yeah. No. I don't give a f I, you know, I I told y'all, man. I I like sports is all right, but this shit is ridiculous, man. And that's why you know everybody laughed and cringed when we used to say the NFL is a plantation. But they this is this gives you people. This is a clear clear example now of how they just use black bodies to make their money. There yep. are, there are, there are no owners. I don't think there are any black owners of NFL teams out there. 
Mm-hmm. I think you got some, uh, you know, you got some head coaches out there, but you don't yeah. have any. You know, I don't think there are any black owners of any teams out Managers, there. Managers, yeah, yeah. And now they want to come out with this "I'm sorry" shit, and I could almost accept that if it didn't feel like uh, uh, such a backhanded uh, uh, sorry because of one thing that they they are consciously doing. Be the National Football League. Admit we were wrong for not listening to NFL players earlier. What will it take for one of us to be murdered by police brutality? What if I was George Floyd? Let me explain to you what's happening right here. Oh, Drew Brees is not in that video? <laughs> Uh, Drew Brees uh, He's changed oh, his Brees, position yeah. actually Yeah no. I <laughs> yeah I told you He was just ignorant man So good for him If he understands If you're ignorant And you, and you get educated You understand That's great. good That's good But This uh, what, what, what the NFL is doing man Now a lot of their Black players Are starting to get upset And that's where the, And I'm not I ain't trying to talk shit About the black players man Cause I mean I know y'all out there Making your money And I mean no disrespect But they don't It's a money thing They don't want the Black players to come in and disrupt what's going on with the NFL mm-hmm. anymore. It's bad enough. We got a, uh, a pandemic going on. Mm-hmm. Last thing we need is for our black players, which there's a lot of them, yep. <laughs> because they know these black players are going to with their money. If they start getting riled up, they start protesting, this could lead to another disruption, and they don't want that right now. So do I think this is a, a sincere uh, apology? No. It's a business move. So angry at this young man. And then we had to watch a black man die by that same type of image. President Trump that, criticized that, he should not have taken back his original stance on honoring our American flag. Yes, Trump is really pissed that the NFL is taking oh, the stance, by the yeah. way. Yeah, he is. These sons of bitches. Why are you letting them run over you like this? He's yeah. walking a tightrope right now. What he can do. Yeah. Yeah, because he's like, he, he like retweeted Candace Owens and he's like, well, he's not like, you know, he's saying like he agrees with her, but he retweeted it. Like he's again, he's peeling that, that base. Shit. He's walking a yeah. line. He yeah, always I know doing what he's his doing. retweets. He's always, uh, mm-hmm. you know, he's always talking the side of his neck, man. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing. Like they said in that uh, report right there, if you were really sorry, and maybe you are, but a real apology would happen when you go and reach out to Colin Kaepernick. Until you, un- until yeah. you do that, apology not accepted because yeah. it's false. Yeah, not, not only not accepted, but the real, the real test is going to be. When football season starts back up and the national anthem plays, and they all start kneeling, are players again. allowed to kneel or not? They said that they would allow them to kneel if they want to. I mean, they should just not even play the thing. <laughs> That's the thing. It's so bizarre to me that they play. It's it's a private, you know, like uh, organization. Get, NFL, NHL, whatever you want to, you know, whatever uh, sports you're watching. Why do we have to play the national anthem at these, they get these paid. places? Ah, the government pays them ah, to, to, to okay stand there you go that makes again sense. it's that makes a sense. even patriotism is a business yeah 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 you thought you would sit up here stand up for that song and you thought you would be in guilt to stand up for that song mm-hmm. because you should be standing by your country no because somebody got to get paid mm-hmm. it's all bullshit people it's all bullshit man it's funny we are really beginning to re- a lot of people wake up and like damn I was in the matrix the whole time <laughs> 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 no bullshit. You got any one of those red pills? Yeah, yeah. we got a bunch of them over here. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody using them. Though. I mean, the blue I mean, pills sell out real fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, man. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe we should have gone with the peaceful protest. Nah, we passed that now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. Matter of fact, we were criticized for peaceful protesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. laughed at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He took a peaceful protest. He stood on a knee, and, and, and the president called him a son of a bitch. And the NFL fired him. This man suffered his career because of what he believed in. They fired him. He can't, he's not even playing right now. Yeah. So, you know, until the, the until the NFL reaches out to Colin Kaepernick, who is one of the big people that kind of pushed this 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 whole this before George Floyd, that was yeah. Colin Kaepernick who tried to do it peacefully, and y'all weren't listening. Until somebody had to die. And all he was saying, like, hey, just acknowledge that it's happening. Yeah. So you know what? Until y'all say something to him, you want to put on a fucking dog and pony show, bring him out and shake his hand and make out some deal with him, and then we can talk about apologies. But right now, fuck off with that. Nobody's listening to that. People, we, you, you, you have to pay attention to these phonies, man, from the people who uh, are being used for the color of their skin right down to the big corporations who are trying to just ride a wave right now. You know, because it, it, right now we're at a case of, well, I'm doing it because you're doing it. <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> nobody, nobody, you know, you have to say, it's a shame we got to do this. Who's really doing this from the bottom of their hearts and doing this out of human decency? And who's doing it be, because it's a business? Yeah, that's a shame, man. It's a lot of bullshit to dig through. It's always it with the truth, man. 
You know, I say truth stinks because you got to dig a bunch of shit to get to. <laughs> it's a shame how you have to do it, man. Some people just chunk it at you. Right? 